everyone, it's Chris here. And this is Matt. He writes comic books. Yeah. He does. This is, no, this is my first guest video as well. Ooh, yeah. go me. Woo! So, I'm at Matt's, hanging out. I usually catch up with him for coffee, because he's a sad sack and works from home. But he's beautiful. So, we've just been hanging out doing comics. Um, Dean Rankin was just here. We had dip. It's gone. Dean pretty much ate most of this dip. Okay. So, I don't really know what to talk about. I'm much better this week, which is awesome. But I haven't done much work, so... I've had no client work, which sucks. Have you had any client work this week? I'm alright, I don't have yeah. client work. <laughs> so, what have you been working on? Um, currently, kickstarting a children's book called Don't Shut the Door. Cool. Um, it was... How's it going? How's the Kickstarter going? Better than what I thought it would. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What's your goal? Uh, four grand. It's uh, a lot of money. Are you close? No. <laughs> so, what do you need to be close? Lots more money. All right, cool. We can do that. Yeah. We can do that. <laughs> I'll post a link to it down the bottom there if you want to check it out. Uh, it's an awesome kids book called Don't Shut the Door. Yeah. Uh, it's Dave written Ash. about his son. So, if you watch the video, his son kept making excuses not to go to bed. So, he wrote a book about it. And then he's got a really cool artist called Dave Atzi to draw it. Yeah. But he hasn't drawn all of it because Matt can't afford him to draw it. So that's why they're kickstarting it to pay artists. Have you contacted podcasts? So this is something I've been thinking of doing just as an artist to promote myself. But because you're doing a Kickstarter, it's probably a bit more vital for you because you want to do it within, you know, that couple of weeks. Yes. Have you contacted what are they called? Podcasts. To actually, you know, be interviewed to promote the book? Uh, um, what you should do when you're kickstarting is prior to the release date, you should have pre-organised a couple of reviews and interviews uh, to promote the Kickstarter. And did you do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do that now, though? I mean, like, yes, there I would can. be time. Yes. Most podcasts sort of, um, they post within the week. That they've gone up. Yep, I yeah, I contacted one yesterday. Yep, who were recording that night. Okay, and put it on there. Oh, fantastic! So there's one. All right, done. Yeah, done. Right, so you are. So you are sort of easy. All right, beautiful. There yeah. you go. So there's a tip for you. So if you're doing a Kickstarter or just generally want to promote yourself, do what I'm not doing and met not and me. contact post podcasters, contact blogs who do reviews, contact review sites, uh, and just ask them if they want to review whatever you're doing. That way, then, if they've got a following, even if it's like 200 followers, that's 200 people you might not have contacted or, you know, advertised to prior. So you might get a few extra sales. Yeah, do that. The way I think of it, if they've got 200 people and you get 1%, that's two people more, two extra people on your Kickstarter. Yeah. That's better than a kick in the Even like at the basic, I mean, your book's $15. Yep. So that's $30 more towards your goal. Exactly. We made a comic book together two years ago. Really? Was it two years ago? Oh, shit. Yeah, it was Sorry. March 2014. It was. Yeah, it's two years ago now. Wow. Yeah. Since then, I haven't drawn the second one, um, which is when I did that hiatus from uh, 100 Days of Making Comics. Uh, but I do plan on doing that again later this year once I finish up stuff. Um, otherwise, you yeah, know, he's done a few other things. Yep. I've well, done a few other things. I've got Divine Comedy coming out through Calibre really, really soon. Who's Calibre? Calibre Comics. Where are they? Uh, America. Ooh. So Zip. you're going to be an American published artist from yep. Australia. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yep. They first printed The Crow or published The Crow. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And they're printing me. And they're printing you. What else can we talk about? Uh, I've got an article, People Care, on Australian Comics Journal. Yeah. Does that come out? Uh, no. I meant to have already emailed it. Just don't tell Anthony. Cool. It's going to be out on Friday. Anthony Castle? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know he was running it. Yeah. Don't tell him I haven't done it yet. All right. <laughs> but it should be uploaded this Friday. This video will be up on Wednesday. That's today. That's today. Yeah. Yeah. So he'll know if he watches it. I'm going to link him. So this week I'm working on the NSEW book. I've already posted some stuff up on the Patreon page. I don't mind link there. So that'll be up on Patreon. Um, as I'm doing them, like pencils and inks. I think I just finished page two this last night. You don't know. I don't know why I'm asking you. 
Yep, and then I've got more pages to do. Three more pages. Three more pages. And then I can start inking it. And then anyone on the Patreon will get all the full links too on that. So you get all those bonus things. Are you a member of my Patreon? No. Bastard. I'm a starving artist. That's why I have a Patreon. Pretty lackluster week. Um, oh, big news. Um, I told you last week that I have big news to tell you this week, which I do. And for those of you who aren't on my Facebook page or on my Patreon, as of August this year, I am expecting a child. Yay. Ooh. So I did the thing and she did the thing and we're making a thing and it'll be out in August. Not like a comic, like you can't buy it or, yeah, I'm not going to kickstart it or anything. Yeah, but this one you'll actually complete. I've already done my job. <laughs> <laughs> At least this side of things. And then I have to do the dad stuff. So, yeah. So that's super exciting. So I've known since December. Yeah, before Christmas on you. So uh, we're pretty pumped. Help Matt, because you like the book and you like the pictures. His words are good. Dave's illustrations are awesome. His words are good. <laughs> Just back it. What's 15 bucks? Come on. You get a book. You can read it to your kids. You can read it to yourself. Yeah. If you pledge $120, yep. he will Skype you and read you the book before you go to sleep. Or, for four grand, <laughs> I will fly anywhere in Australia to you. We'll go out for dinner. I'll tuck you in. Did you mention the pizza? Yeah, pizza. Okay. Tuck you in and I'll read you the book in person. In your own bed? Yeah. And then you have to get up out of bed and then he will go home. <laughs> or do, do you stay with them? Probably not. They're going to stay in a hotel? I, uh, probably. So what if they're, like, if they're in Victoria, will you just come home? Probably. But if they're in like Queensland or... I'll fly up. Um, like Kangaroo Island. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's like a You're tree gonna... or something I can right. sleep under. Can they... As long as there's a gutter, I can... Can they... In. Can you stay in their house if they allow it? I don't know. Do they want a rider in their house? What if they don't like pizza? What if they don't like artists? They wouldn't back you. Yeah, but they like the book. Uh, they like books, but they don't like art. Yeah. No, That's artists. Artists. Yeah. That's a whole other video. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good week, everyone. I'll catch you all on Friday for the Fan Art Friday video. If you liked the video, if you like Matt, check out his Kickstarter. If you like me, like the video, subscribe, hit the comment button and leave words. Tell us how pretty Matt is, oh, how pretty he's not. <laughs>